my cloud. Right, hey guys, so happy Thursday. Oh my God. So um, I don't want this to be a long one, but the plan is to try and do the leadership Zoom calls once a month. So you will be invited to a call. Everybody that's star, consultant and above will be invited to a call. And it will be up to you whether you want to come along to that and you want to be pushing yourself. Someone. Sorry, guys. Um, I. Hold on one second. Sorry, Holly, I can still hear you. That's it. Right. Um, I, the, the aim of this call is so that I will be here once a month. If you want to log in, I'm going to have, um, there will be some ideas that you can do with your teams. There will be things that you can take forward and challenge yourself with. This is, this is here for basically those of you that are like, I want the next promotion. I want the next level. I want to be leveling up. So, um, I'm using this as really as a tool to touch base with you all, but also to give you some things to take forward to your teams and sort of work with your teams and do. So it'll just be once a month. Um, and then any time between now and the next call, if you are really struggling and it doesn't matter who your director is um, and you really need some extra help or there's some, somewhere you want to go, my inbox will be open. Um, I know that now we've got that group that's set up, the active in command group for everybody that's star and superstar. So hopefully that's going to give me an outlet to talk to you guys. Obviously, I've got my director's um, chats that I do catch up with um, on there as well. So that's, that's the aim of this. That's my reasoning for doing this. I don't like to do training. for. I don't just like to come on and have a Zoom call just for the sake of it because your time is precious, so is mine. Um, obviously tonight as well, I want to be done by so that we can, um, if anyone is available at eight o'clock, Joanne Davidson's going live in your consultant group. I know that she would love some of our help and support and just giving her a, like, a little, whoop, whoop, we're here. So if you are available, then jump onto that after, but if you're not, not a problem. So the aim for tonight is to get you thinking about where you want to go in your business. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? One at the end of this month and where do you want to be at the end of you know, in the next six months, where, where do you see yourself? So what I want you to do for me in the comments box, so down below, it will say comment or chat, and you should be able to pop a comment in there. Um, sorry, guys, I'm just making sure that you're all unmuted, because otherwise I get like 50,000 voices and background noise. Um, what I want you to do is to pop a comment in there and say, first of all, where you want to be by the end of the month? Where, what's your goal by the end of the month? And where do you want to be in six months time? Where do you see yourself? Okay, so that's what I want to, I just want you to do in the chat for me. So where do you see yourself at the end of this month? Are you aiming for a promotion? Are you aiming for your highest PRB? Are you hoping to have like a million and one recruits? Or do you want to see yourself just being consistent and hitting, you know, where, where you were last month? Are you challenging yourself to go up by 200 PRV, like that's our big challenge this month. So if you got 2,000 last month, you should be aiming for 2,200 this month. Or if you got 500, you're aiming for 700 this month. So director, director, did I mention director, Jade Killick. We know that you're going for director and I'm really hoping it's gonna happen for you this month, girl. Where are you hoping for? So Jade Day, new teamy and at least 1,000 PRV. So doable, Jade, so doable for you. What about six months time? Where do you see yourself in six months time? Laura, I'd love to recruit again this month. I don't really think we're literally, you're gonna to top my, my, March's PRV was just Me, my sure. But Laura, I would say you wanna be aiming for 2000. That oh, yeah. 2000 is like uh, a must do. Sorry guys, I'm just muting. Um, so see where you want to be. That's what I want you to think about. So what are we doing? Um, let's just look. I am reading the chats. So guys, if you're on catch up, obviously those of you that are not on the call, I want you to write these things down. You want the luggage in the bag, Jade. Love that. You're six months consistent. Yeah, Kirsty, definitely six month goal. And like Nick just hit that. Holly, director figures, fifteen hundred. Yeah, love that. You know, Holly, you've got potential, my love for star director very quickly to happen because you're probably going to have a director at the end of this month. So star director is really in reach for you. Okay, one new recruit, brilliant. Nikki, you in the bath. 
Um, five months to go. I want to hit D figures, the luggage, like love it. Right, we've got, we're getting that, we're getting the idea. So we've got an idea of where we want to be going. Hannah, end of the month, level one incentive. Love that. So driven by the incentive. On your way to level two. What about Hannah? Where's that next level up coming? Is it superstar consultant next, isn't it? That's what you're going for. So we've all got goals, okay? We've all got goals. Now, what I want you to think about is realistically, how are you going to get there? How are we going to get there? What's, what is, how are we going to get from A to B? What's, what's happening in the middle? What's this little bit that's going on here? Like when I wanted to hit superstar director, yes, I, I knew that I needed two more directors at the beginning of the month that I hit superstar director. And I knew as those figures started happening and I was watching those figures coming in, I thought to myself, hold on a minute, this is, this is doable. So what I did was I started to work and I put myself to work and I, I worked on three areas. And this is where you're going to hopefully take some notes away. This is where I want you to be working. And this is where I focus a lot of my time. The first area is going to be PRV. As leaders, every single one of you should be aiming for a minimum of 500 PRV because if you don't get 500 PRV, you don't get paid on your team. Hopefully you've worked that out by now. 500 is the minimum you should do. As a leader, I would hope that you're aiming for a at least a thousand PRV, realistically, as a leader. There's a, two reasons for that. Number one is you wanna be showing your team, if I'm going for two, a thousand PRV, look, it's realistic, it's doable. Now, I know that not every month is gonna be realistic and doable for a thousand PRV, but, 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 if you're only setting yourself a goal of 700 PRV or 500 PRV, realistically, that's not gonna be challenging you and it's not gonna be pushing you out of your comfort zone. So this week, what was it that I did where I was like, oh my God, I'm going to share that. There was something I did where I was like, oh, and this sounds really lame, TikTok video with Ellis. And we were doing this whole football shenanigans, right? It pushed me out of my comfort zone for two reasons. Number one, choreography is all right with me, but I've got to be doing it for months and months and months. I have to learn it over and over again. I'm not one of these people. I've never been able to do exercise to music. Like I never went and did the qualification to do like... um body pump, body attack, them things, because my choreography and my actual, um, I, I'm good, I can dance, but my actual remembering the moves is really, really bad for me, really, really bad. So when Ellie said, mum, I want to do this TikTok video, it massively pushed me out of my comfort zone. I had to like work on that and we had to work together. And I know I'm talking about a TikTok video, so it sounds really lame. But what I'm saying is I had to push myself out of my comfort zone. This week, in terms of getting new recruits, I have pushed myself out of my comfort zone because I put Spain on my sponsored post that's gone out. I've had three people message me in Spanish. So I've had to go away and I've had to Google translate what they were saying to be able to carry on a conversation with them. If they decide to sign up, God knows what's going to happen. But they're conversations that I'm having. I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I'm not working within my comfort zone. I'm not sitting here saying, right, okay, I can just, I know I can get a thousand PRV. Last month, I challenged myself to get 2000. I knew it was going to be a challenge. I hit 2000, just 2096. But that was my pressure. I put that pressure on myself. So I want you to be thinking about actually challenging yourself. So if last month you got 2000 and that was, you did it, I want you to add on 200 to that. That's what we should be doing. This month as well, I want you to think about starting to challenge your team is. So when I was looking at A to B, I need to get from star director to superstar director, I started to challenge my team. So I challenged in particular, it was Jade and Kirsty, um, who are both on the call. Um, and they'll probably be able to tell you that month, I, I messaged them and, I, and actually I think we spoke on the phone and I said, look, this is your month to go for director. But to do that, you're going to have to literally go high on your PRV yourselves. It's, it's not going to be completely doable only hitting 500 PRV. The more you do, the less your team have got to do. So what I want you to think about is where you want to get to. If that's 2,500 GWV that you need, you need to work out, right, if I bring in 1,000 PRV, that's going to give me 750 GWV, which means the, the rest is going to be down to my team. Then you need to start thinking about how do you challenge each of those teamies to bring in that set amount of PRV. So what I did and what I've always done is broke it up amongst my teamies. So I've said, right, okay, we need, I've brought in 750 GWV. They've got to bring in the other 1750 GWV. So I know that I have eight, 10 people active. 
So between them, I'm dividing that between them and that's the minimum they all need to bring in. I've not lost anyone, have I? Please shout if I'm going too fast and I've lost you. So what I've done is I've divvied up that PRV and I've said, right, between you all, you need, I think it works out 350 GWV. When you break it down like that, it doesn't look very big to your teamies. Rather than going big and saying, yeah, you need to get 2000 PRV, you challenge your teamies to bring in 400 PRV, for example, they're, gonna, they're more likely to achieve that. It's called setting realistic goals. When you set a realistic goal, what then happens is they go, yeah, I can do that. They strive for it. They hit it. You then challenge them to do it the next little bit more. Right, now you've hit 400 PRV. I want you to see if you can get another 150 PRV. Off you go. Here's some ideas. So you need to be looking at your PRV plus what you're challenging your teamies to do. And whether that's one teamie or whether that's 10 teamies or whether that's 160 teamies, this is where you should be looking to make sure that you're able to level up, working towards that goal. Break that goal down into small chunks for the amount of people in your team. Now, don't just look at your whole team. You might have a team of 30, but actually only 19 of them were active last month. Only 16 of them were active the month before and only 10 of them were active the month before. If that's the case, take an average and then work with the people that were active. Find out why the people that wasn't active, why weren't they active? Is it that they're a hobbyist and they only want to put in an order every one every four months, for example? Work out why those teamies weren't active and then have that conversation with them. These are conversations that you should be having. And I'll come on to the conversations in a minute. So it's about setting those challenges for your teamies, breaking up that PRV. Now, if, say, for example, someone's got to bring in 300 PRV for you to be able to hit your goal, let's say you're aiming for superstar consultant and you need all of your active teamies, only your active, not your non-actives, because if they bring in PRV, it's going to be a bonus, okay? So we're working with the actives. If all of them people need to bring in 300 PRV for you to be able to get your goal, when you look at that, that's only, hold on, we've got 30 days in the month, 30 times 10 is 300, that's 10 PRV per person per day. When you look at it like that, it becomes much more achievable. You're saying to someone, I need you to sell two wax bars a day, or I need you to sell a wax bar and a car bar per day, every single day. That's a little, and how long would it take you to sell one wax bar and a car bar, or one wax bar and a hand wash per day? And when you look at it like that, your team suddenly go, cool. Oh, She's not asking the world of me. She's actually asking something really, really sick. So this is what, how I want you to start thinking about working with your team, as well as yourself and challenging yourself, pushing yourself to get more and giving your team set challenges and goals when it comes to PRV. Sponsoring, the big taboo subject that we all hate. If you've not watched my um, Dream Team Academy YouTube training, go and watch it. It was 10 days, 10 short, sharp trainings with Tam Richards and incorporate those things into your daily training. If you have watched it and you're still struggling, I want you to ask yourself these questions. Not all of us are gonna recruit every single month. If I asked you how many recruits you, were, you got in, on average in the last six months, some of you might have got one, some of you might have got 20. Everybody is different in that respect. But what we wanna be showing for our team is that we're actively trying to recruit every other day. So in the last three days, I've put out two different posts, which I would call attraction marketing join posts. I will post them in our starter super group so you can see an example of them um, as opposed to me telling you what, what I've written because it'll probably go in one ear and out the other. So read it for yourself and then you can sort of tweak it. Both of those posts, one was about the incentive and how it's been cancelled and we've now been offered a cash prize and I've sort of, that was about attraction, drawing people in to seeing the fact that we've now got a cash prize. The other one was about Switzerland. And last night I was sitting here genuinely in my bubble, I was sitting here at my desk and I was like, I've been out, I've done deliveries today. I smiled the whole way around with my music on, the sun was in, I have my sunglasses on, I'm literally dropping off wax to people. People are waving, going to me, oh my God, you've made my day. I was building relationships with my customers. And I thought to myself, how lucky am I that this is my full-time job? How lucky am I that this is bringing me in double, triple my teaching income now on a regular monthly basis. How lucky am I that we're in this period right now and I could be in a period where my school said to me, yet yeah, we can pay you your wage for however many months and I don't have to, and I've still got to go in to do work when actually I'm not. I'm earning a hell of a lot more than that and I'm in my garden 
tanning and I really had a moment last night that this is my job how lucky am I that this is my job it was like a real pinch me moment and I don't get a lot of those because I'm a bit like I am maiden in that respect but I am maiden I am ice queen not, not I am maiden <laughs> I am maiden as a rock person I mean oh god sun's gone to my head it's the wine people it's the wine um but what I meant was I then wrote exactly how I was feeling stuck it with a pretty picture put it on my Instagram put it on my um Facebook I had a message from someone today saying to me oh my god I've read your post it was so good I hope you don't mind I've used it like I've tweaked it as my own but I absolutely loved it and I was like no it's fine as long as you're writing your own words I don't really care um and then off the back of that somebody else has messaged me and said oh my god how amazing so it's drawing people in now I'm not actively saying to people want to join my team I did today I had five conversations today where I dropped it into conversation because I set myself the challenge to do 10 I asked five people today not 10 but that was on my list to do. My list to do says here, ask 10 people to join Sensi from my list of 100. Even I do that as superstar director. I still have to do that. And I ask myself to do that every day. But what I'm saying is, are your team looking at you and are they able to see that you're doing those things? Are you putting join posts up regularly? Not just a picture of the kit. Who, who really is going to join just because they see the kit and go, oh yeah, I want to pay £85 for that kit. No, there needs to be attraction marketing in there. You've got to give people reasons as to why they want to join you. What is it that has, what is it that's going to really make them join you? Are you putting those messages out to people? Are you showing people what you've earned? Are you, you know, having those conversations? You can screenshot your, um, you know, how much you've earned. Say you've earned £1,500 this month. If you really want to put that on your Facebook, stick it on your Facebook. Just don't forget the income disclosure form because otherwise you will be asked to remove it. So don't forget the income disclosure form and remind your teammates they need to do that as well. So are you doing that? Are you putting those posts up? Every other day, there should be something on your Facebook or on your Instagram or on your um, social media somewhere that tells me, one, you're a sensory consultant and two, I can join your team. Because I really, really hear quite a lot. A lot of leaders say, that person should have joined my team. And I go, well, why should they? Did you ask them? Did you tell them you're, you're recruiting a team? Can they tell you're recruiting a team from looking at what you're doing? If the answer is no, then I've got no sympathy for you. Tough love, I know, but you need to be putting those posts out. I need to be putting those posts out so people then get inspiration from that. Your team are going to get inspiration when they see you're trying to recruit. So it doesn't matter whether you don't get a recruit for three months, four months, five months. As long as your team can see you're actively trying, then you're giving them something back. You're able to say, look, I've had these conversations. This has worked. Share that with your team. Okay. I share with you guys everything I do. There's never, there's never anything that I secretly sit there and squirrel away and say, oh, I'm not going to share that with my team because it's, it's mine. You need to share with your team what you're doing, okay? What you're doing to get sponsors, what conversations you're having, um, how you're asking people. Is it that you're just um, literally, it's the luck of the draw, you go to someone, do you want to join my team? What are you doing? Share that with your team. Ask your team what they're doing. Get them to screenshot you. I've done this before. Someone say to me, what am I doing wrong? It's, it's not working. Screenshot me the conversation you're having. Let me have a look at it. And if you can't see where they're going wrong, screenshot it to your director, screenshot it to me, screenshot it to Laura and say, look, have you got any advice? This is what my team is doing. Clearly, I can't see where they're going wrong. Is there anything else? Like, what else, what other like, options could I give them to try? So that, that's something else to think about. And then lastly, are you coaching your team? Okay. Are you coaching them? Now, there's a difference between having a conversation with your teamies that I have with our directors. All my directors love them. They are incredible. We talk all day long. We literally chat about a load of rubbish sometimes. Sometimes we talk about Cincy. It really is like a mixture. That is not coaching them. Okay. Coaching them is on a one-to-one -one basis. Now, ideally, I would say it needs to be done on FaceTime, face-to-face -face, or on a call. Um, I don't think it really works over Messenger, but everybody's different. Um, and it's that one-to-one -one coaching, saying to them, exactly like what I'm doing with you now, where do you want to be at the start of the month? Where do you want to be at the end? Now tell me, how are you going to get there? What I want you to now tell me is, where's your PRV coming from? Where's your recruits coming from? What parties are you booking? If you don't know where those things are coming from and you're literally taking it every day by day, You've got to probably rewind and then say to yourself, right, I need a plan. 
And this is what you guys should be doing as leaders, planning where your month's coming from. So I've sat down this month and I've got smile bags. I've got sample packs. I've got, I've got make brownies on my list, but that's obviously some other things I was doing. Um, sell 200 PRV today. Um, a bingo party that's booked this Friday. Try and get three more bingo parties I've got written down here. If I've not got three more bingo parties, I've also got that I'm going to host my own bingo parties at least twice in the month. I've made a plan. I actually have. I haven't got it up here. My plan up. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And this month is probably the quietest, but let me show you. I plan everything down to who I'm following up with, where I'm following up, what time I'm spending on following up, conversations that I need to have with certain teams. So here, this, it says house, house, house is me tidying up, but sales, PRV and bookings. The next day, lifestyle advertising. The next day, bookings for parties, 200 PRV, gym. I've got gym on there as well. Um, follow up, for example, on that Wednesday. Thursday, team day. So this is a day where I check in with my team and I've also got a call at that time. Valentine's Day, RT, 200 PRV, but I'm, I've actually put day off there. So you get an idea. Every day I try and plan. Now, I'm not saying that every day is realistically like that because every day is really different. But what I'm saying is having a bit of an idea where your PRV is coming from, where your team is are coming from, or at least who's on your dream team, who you're going to be trying to chip away at in the month is really, really important. And that's the same as coaching. Now, here's what I want to try and challenge you to do. For you to be able to get to from A to B this month, first of all, I want you to look at what GWV do I need? Uh, or if you are sitting, say for example, at director and you know that Star Director is a little bit further off yet, then you're going to have these conversations with your leaders. Not all of your leaders, you're going to identify the leaders in your group, those that are bringing in high PRV, those that are actively reaching out to you saying, I want to work. Because they're the people that I want to work with, the people that are showing up, the people that are turning up, the people like you guys now that are all on this call. Yeah, I want to work with all of you because you're all here. And I know there are people that will catch up on the call and they've got work and I get that. But what I'm saying is I want to work with you because you're all showing me that you want to work with me. Okay, look for those rock stars. Who in your team? Look on your downline report. If you're not sure how to use it, I put out um, a screenshot of that picture and it shows you to go on your performance tab download your downline report and have a look at everybody for the last two or three months look at who's been bringing in that high prv and be like right i'm going to work with them who's recruited in the last month who's reaching out to you saying how do i do this um or i've looked on the workstation where do i go next with this because i'm a little bit unsure they're the people and i want you to pick two or three two or three of those rock stars and i want you to check i want you to put in a coaching call this this month with them it can be at any point whenever you feel ready doesn't have to be a facetime but if you can do it over facetime it's nice to be able to see each other's face but if you don't feel up to that just a call 20 minutes no longer all you're going to do is you're going to ask them to tell you how their business is going you're not going to tell them loads of ideas you're going to ask them to tell you what they're doing with their business this month to get their prv you're also going to challenge or your team is to the amount of GWV that they need to bring in to help you to hit that goal. Or if you're sitting at director comfortably, so I'm trying to talk to everybody here and you think, actually, I'm not going to be going for star director just yet. I want you to break down the GWV with your leaders and show them how to challenge their team so that they can hit that next goal. Am I making sense? Can you tell me in the chat if I'm making sense? Because I know I talk quite a lot. Someone tell me, does this make sense? What I'm asking you to do? Two little challenges, yeah? So break down the PRV, break down the GWV. Michelle, how did you do that thumb up? My God, it was that proper little thumb up. That's new. I love that, love it. Good, so the fact that you can, that's what I want you to do. That's what I want you to work on. It's. I can see those of you that are gunning for it. I can see those of you that are like, right, I want director. I want that in the bag. And it can happen for every single one of you that's on this call at the minute. Every single one of you 
can hit director and all of you that are directors can become consistent directors and all of you that are directors can become star directors and I'm looking forward to seeing in the next year I reckon we're going to have a team of SSDs and I'm excited for that but you've got to learn how to work with your team it's I think it's really easy to go oh I'm working with my team just by having conversations over text and you know flitting texts back and forth working with your team means challenging those that want to be challenged pushing those out of their comfort zone that want to be pushed and actually working directly with certain people i promise you if you put these things in place watch your team and your team members fly because you guys know that when i've reached out maybe to you before and we've gone how about trying to do xyz some of you will be like actually that was like a light bulb moment and it made me think actually i need to go and do that i'm not flying my own trumpet I do, I do all right. I think I've done all right in the last two years and I think I've learned quite a lot very, very quickly. I'm still learning. Every day is a school day for me. But I've also got so much knowledge to impart on you all, honestly. And I want to share, I, honestly, I want to share it with you all. So what, I'm, what I now want you to do is really work on breaking down that GWV. Break it down even further into PRV because when you look at it per day over the rest of the month that we've got, 20 days, and some of them might only need to bring in 200 PRV each for you to hit that next level, you're laughing. Obviously, if you've got a smaller team, you need to go high. You need to go hard. And this is a month to do it. Rock stars can be born in this month. And I know that people are saying, oh, I don't think people are buying. It's rubbish. I've done 700, 800, 1,000 pounds worth of sales since the first of the month already. So, and that's, that's not trying. I haven't gone out there and, you know, been out there. It's all about this. And Holly, you've just, bang on it's about your mindset you need to change your mindset change that gear and be like right i need to become a leader and you guys are all leaders it's now just about putting aside all this crap that's going on at the minute with rona yeah it is it's crap right and it's putting us all in this awful mindset and this awful i think it's a bit like groundhog day i get it but it's now about right put that to one side I'm going to challenge myself to really work with my team to get in the crux of it. And exactly that, Hannah, you've got your thousand already this month. I know you're absolutely storming it this month. I'm excited to see you hit superstar consultant this month. No pressure. Um, but what I'm saying is it's now about looking at those things. So PRV, show people you're trying to sponsor, show those posts, get them out there, challenge yourself, push yourself out of your comfort zone and start coaching your team. Not just, um, having conversations with them it's now about coaching i've also got like an action plan um sheet that i can put on the group for you you know when i start a super group and that um you can use that as a basis for your coaching call if you want because i know some people will be like right hold on a minute i don't really know how to do a coaching call my coaching calls really are as simple as this right i have to i get them to write down what all of what their prv is where they, where, what they're aiming to get, like, so what their goals are for the month, and they need to send them to you, ideally before the call. Then what you're going to do is you're going to say to them, right, you've sent me your goals, amazing. You might write down a few ideas, things that you think might work for them, that you think would push them a little bit more. And then you're going to say to them, right, how are you going to get, say they've challenged themselves to two recruits. How are you going to, how are you planning to get two new recruits? Who is it that you're aiming to go to, and to, um, what is it, what seeds have you sown? What, in, what conversations have you had? We're then going to let them download. It's like therapy. Having a coaching call is literally like therapy. They're going to download and tell you all these wonderful things. If they sit there and go, oh, I don't know, you're going to say to them, right, okay, we're going to reschedule this call. I want you to go away and think about how you're going to get there. And then you're going to come, we're going to do this call in, say, three days' time and we reschedule it. What you're not going to do is tell them how to get there. Because all that's doing is you giving them the ideas all the time. They need to be thinking for themselves. So they've got to be thinking for themselves. If you would like to book a coaching call with me, yeah, by all means, just message me. Um, say, Lisa, I would love a 20-minute call. I have got lots of time at the moment that I am squeezing things into. I'm working long days because it's suiting me at the moment. I'm sort of doing not mornings, more afternoons, if that makes sense. Um, but, and that's when I tend to let my kids on their PlayStation. So they go quiet and Artie normally has a nap and I get the most done. So yeah, if you would like 20 minutes with me, by all means. But by all means, ask your directors as well first, because I know that like, I know Tan is desperate to have her team work with her. 
um, as are Kirsty, Jade, all, all of the girls, they all are. Um, but yeah, I am happy to do coaching calls as well, more than happy. So you just need to let me know. Um, right, hopefully this has given you a little bit of food for thought. I'm literally just going to unmute you all, not on camera you all, but I will unmute you. Hi. Has anyone got any questions? <laughs> Thanks. Yes. That was great. Thanks, Dalian. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Lise. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay. So I don't think we've got any questions. I need to just mute you all again. Um, so if there's any, if you've got any questions that you want to put to me privately, by all means do. My inbox is open. Um, if you're about and you can give Joe some love, then what is time? Um, it'll be in 25 minutes. I'm sure she'd really appreciate that. Um, I will also upload this to YouTube. So this will be the first of many and I will try and schedule one call, as I say, a month. That's just for you guys to help with you. If there's anything you would like me to cover in these calls, just let me know and say, right, I really need, I think this would be good. I really need some help as a leader with X, Y, Z. Um, but that's what I want you to go away and do. And then I also want you to message me and tell me how it's going. I want you all to be in my inbox this month and say, Lise, you've challenged us to do this. Look at what I've just done. I want to hear it so that I can give you some some love anyway i am gonna go so i will speak to you joe's oh nick sorry joe's isn't till 8 15 now for clapping she's um she's put it back 15 minutes but anyway i'm gonna speak to you all soon i hope that was useful and i'll see you all soon guys bye